Hello there Taurus and welcome to your Oracle messages for whenever you get this video and it resonates for your situation Taurus and Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus because this is a timeless reading. So Taurus, we're going to be finding out all that we can from Spirit when it comes to your current situation and what you need to know. Okay, we've got passion and pleasure. So I am sensing fire sign coming through. So just give in to your passions and pleasures. You may need to give in to mystery. A lot of you, uh, what's happening with this uh, trusting in the divine plan is some type of spiritual expansion, awareness, um, growth, transformation. And if you don't resonate with the spiritual part of that, then it's a, you know, profound sense of personal growth and achievement. Uh, but we are at a place where, you know, you just need to surrender into the mystery. And I do, uh, feel that a lot of you Taurus are sensing some type of mystery and magic at play, uh, because the thin is very, uh, excuse me, the veil is very thin between you and the spiritual realm right now. So some of you, it is time to get outdoors more or connect with nature spirits, connect with others. There's something about uh, traveling or maybe music, dancing, campfires or something like that. Okay. So what we're doing is giving into trust by having fun. What else for Taurus? choosing your path and all is possible. So believe that you are right where you need to be. You know, I feel that this is um, a mixture of the emperor energy and also knight of swords energy. So there is a sense of hitting a level of status, um, well-earned respect, okay, or it's coming to you. Now, for some of you on a work path or maybe a path where you are having to stay maybe mentally strong, spiritually strong in order to really seek out your truth in life or something that is, you know, a seeking you, okay, because all is possible, continue to do that, okay, because I do feel a lot of you, you're being backed up right now by spirit to stand and honor your truth to trust in your abilities, okay? Especially when it calls for some type of leadership or taking the lead and not being afraid and being excited about what's possible here. <clears throat> so really choose what you want, right? Don't second guess yourself. And when the opportunity arises, don't be afraid to take action because this is a time period where you want to be careful not to fall into old routines or patterns uh, that you have already overcome or you're done with because uh, you're ready for expansion. You're ready for growth. Okay. So you'll, you'll know when you're doing something the same because it'll just give you the same results. So there's some type of situation where I'm sensing three of wands with this too. So more fire sign, you know, your ships are coming in. There could be a sense of connecting with, um, others or another from a distance that really makes, uh, your world even bigger. What else for Taurus? got this card of envy and a card of discipline, you know, navigating yourself away from or not getting pulled in or dragged into drama or uh, conflict with oneself because we're losing focus on our own goals or, you know, not seeing that you're right where you need to be. Okay. So take what resonates because it is a general reading, but you know, we've got this card of envy. I feel a lot of you, you're coming into seeing something here right? That, uh, you no longer need to envy, uh, others. If that is something that some of you Taurus have been challenged by, because maybe we're, you know, feeling the lack of, or seeing disappointment because we're not getting what we want right at this moment, or, at, you know, at a time that we want it to happen. Right. Uh, now some of you, you are staying disciplined because I feel a lot of you Taurus can sense some envy, of others with you, jealousy about what you are doing, what you're becoming. 
So set your mind to what you can accomplish, what you not what you can't, or what maybe others are trying to drag you into that's only gonna sidetrack you. So take this if it resonates for some of you Taurus, but if you have some drama uh, kings and queens in one's life, or let's not even, maybe we shouldn't even call them the kings and queens, maybe we just call them drama, right? Um, you know, I don't know, just try to turn your back on it, okay? Because you're looking into the future. All right, what else for Taurus? Adversity, <laughs> yeah. And friendship. You know, I do feel that there's a sense of having uh, people in your lives, you know, in your life for a reason, right? That adversity gives you more strength and um, makes you know what you can overcome. And maybe some you're realizing that some people, friendships, relationships, whatever, um, are there to just give you a sense of good challenge or you're coming into realizing that, okay? But I do feel that there's been something going on here wrapped around friendships, connections, families that, ha that have brought in a lot of adversity here. This is why I just see you looking out into the future, leaving the past behind here, allowing yourself to engage in the friendships that uh, you have now and new ones on the horizon here that you're uh, connecting with. And I feel that there's some type of connection that is very emotional for you and others where you know emotional and passion like music tapping into music being able to express yourself we all you know we're all enjoying the same uh, rhythm uh, in life in the moment so it's good okay it's fulfilling <clears throat> so i feel that there's been some frustrations in the past or maybe currently here with a significant relationship or relationships you know that <laughs> only has made you be strong into knowing what it is that you truly want and what you truly deserve. And I do feel a lot of you, I'm just seeing someone who's very powerful or guided to be very powerful. And so, yes, you may be sensing and feeling others evil eye on you and you don't get distracted with this. Okay. Cause those, yes, gas lighters, this is what I'm getting. Some of <laughs> be, you know, be careful of what you're listening to from others or <clears throat> whatnot, because you know, uh, envy is like a, the cover, you know, there's all kinds of things that are tied in with that envy. You get people who, again, something about gas lighters and, uh, what else? Pass being passive aggressive in, in, in ways. So don't listen to those things that make you question, um, your abilities and you know, what you've been uh, progressing in. Okay. Because that's only going to sidetrack you from what's possible and trusting that there is a divine plan mapped out for you already. What else for Taurus? <clears throat> Patience. So this is really cute because we have this card about passion and pleasure. You're just meant to savor your life right now because you just have to be in this place of knowing, trusting, having faith, accepting that everything happens in divine order. And look, you even had this thing about divine plan. Okay. Different deck. Okay. So divine order, divine plan, please have patience. Your guardian angels are saying, what else? Look at this card. Oh, yes, there is a divine plan. Okay, so for some of you, you do need to have patience, especially if you feel that there may be something tugging at you that might not feel good if you do end up doing something, okay? Because you don't want to end up regretting something. And I'm not saying all of you are in this energy, but you know there may be something where we have to look at some type of unwise choice or be willing to open up to an, a different way, okay? But I do feel, again, we have uh, dealings here with people that you may need to watch out for some of you. Okay. Not all of you, but the sense of jealousy or evil eye, watch out for hidden agendas of others. Okay. 
Uh, let's see, an unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives, right? See, something, if it don't feel right, then it might not be right. You got to listen to yourself. What else? We got uh, five of swords there. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And what's interesting is there's like another, uh, uh, there's another way here, right? There, so there's a better way that will make you happier, right? So some of you, if you know that there's something that could tempt you, but also at the same time could maybe have some maybe negative repercussions, you may need to watch out for that. Okay. <laughs> Not saying all of you, but some of you may possibly. <clears throat> Because you want to give, you don't want to, you want to ignore that and you want to give into channeling this energy, you know, either a way as a, you know, covering yourself in a way where you've got this armor, right? And so this armor is protecting you as your protection from this energy. Or if you feel that you have to deal with some type of, you know, uh, pent up energy or maybe frustration or anger from others or something, then you're figuring out a way to channel this into passion and pleasure that is healthy for you, okay? And giving into the right energies that fuel you. And, and there could be this sense of others not really liking you because you are positive, okay? There are people that just don't like positive people. <laughs> they do exist. <laughs> oh my gosh, thinking and speaking of positive people here. Whoa, we got... Some of you may need to be careful because negative thoughts can cause, um, you know, negative things to happen in one's life. So uh, I'm going to read this. So take what resonates and I'll get a little bit more with this five of pentacles. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's a sense of struggle, loss, or some type of illness that we're dealing with. Okay. Whether mentally or physically <clears throat> or emotionally negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges. So be careful. Okay. Uh, it doesn't mean that you can't turn things around once you're in a place because you always have the ability to do that, okay? And you're worthy of it. Uh, be careful about fears around surrounding money, okay? Reach out to others for assistance. This might be a time where you do need to uh, reach out to family and friends or support or a community or go outside or maybe animals that could uplift your mood, because you're all about what you're doing is you're focusing on upliftment, not this. Okay. <clears throat> Poor timing for becoming self-employed. If that's something that you're trying to do, we don't want to do anything risky at this time. Uh, but let's get a little bit more. <clears throat> I want more with this five of pentacles for Taurus. And I'm hearing that Taurus, you want to know a little bit more about this uh, divine plan. So we'll tap into that. Um, let's get a little bit more with this five of pen five of pentacles for Taurus. What do you want Taurus to know about this five of pentacles? Some of you may have been indoors too long. If you've been indoors too long, make sure you're getting out and getting some fresh air or open up a window if you can. Oh, understand that. <clears throat> okay. Don't focus on where you've been or what you haven't achieved. You got to focus on where you're going and what you will achieve, right? <clears throat> I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So we're learning something. We're healing a situation, right? Some of you, you may need to just really heal and forgive oneself uh, fully, right? In, in a way where you're not being too hard on yourself. Okay, let's see. What else for... Taurus. You're clearing the past and healing the present. This is exactly what's happening here. Okay. So remember, you've got this angel and a lot of you have this angel like ability to channel uh, beautiful healing energies. Okay. Rejuvenating rain. You're clearing the past and maybe even past life karma and debris and healing the present. And by doing that, you're making all things possible. So it's work. The magic is working through you. Yes. You're stepping into power. You're strong beyond measure. 
you're a beacon uh, for others here. What else? See, I knew there was someone that's, you know, standing on this mountaintop or hillside because they've earned this. They've earned a position. And you're at a, a better viewpoint and a vantage as well. So working too hard, we have two of pentacles, all is possible. There's the three of wands. Oh my goodness, see, told you. It's all working out wonderfully here, okay? But you just gotta maintain a sense of discipline because, you know, we've got to stay balanced no matter what because there will be or there is going a lot going on. If you don't need to do something, then maybe you gotta figure out priorities, okay? Um, figure out if it is something you wanna do. Okay, so working too hard or multiple jobs, the need to, oh yeah, I forgot, okay. Sorry, we're gonna get answers about this too, I forgot. <laughs> working too hard or multiple jobs, the need to bring balance and fun into your life, okay? Make sure that you are bringing fun and balance. You know, sometimes it's just switching the music and turning it on and, you know, shaking your booty, okay? <laughs> juggling multiple priorities, balancing the budget, okay? Make sure that you're um, you know, on top of your finances, especially because there could be issues surrounding that, but don't let this get the best of you. This is where you can gain control no matter what. If you know you got to figure things out for the time being, just figure it out, you know, you're I know for some of you, you're having to, you know, really juggle things and maybe juggle money, but um, it's a temporary thing here. Okay, because you're clearing some type, you're healing and clearing the past. And now here we are at the present. We're in the present. This is three of wands. You're in the present moment. And look at that ship. It's like something's been delivered or someone's been delivered. <clears throat> planning in the planning for the long term. Now, this will help some of you get out of some type of struggle or will help you focus anyways, right? When you can focus on long term and what you wish to attain and plan for that. Abundance from past choices, all is possible. So stay disciplined because the three of wands is saying a lot of you, you're on this path and you have been doing the, the right things, the right effort, the right choices. Pride in the success of your labors. Be patient. Look, and we even have that card of patience. So be patient as you decide what's next. Be patient as you decide what's next. Look at that, choosing a path. You get to take your time with this. Okay, let's get a little bit more about the divine's plan. Let's, ta let's, give, let's give Taurus a little bit about this divine plan, okay? And you're just gonna have to take what spirit gives us here. Because <laughs> I have learned to not push spirit too much because spirit can only give so many answers to things. Let's get a little bit more. What can Taurus know about this divine plan? What can Taurus know about this divine plan? Also, there's something coming about um, taking care of one's health or <clears throat> doing what you guys got to do to make sure that even if you're busy, that you can maintain something with, you know, uh, your health food, you know, nutrition, fitness, staying flexible, maybe something with stretching here. Okay, look at this. The divine plan and nice. This is about security, getting your reserves or um, having your reserves filled up again if you've had to tap into your reserves, especially about money. <laughs> managing your resources wisely. This is part of the divine's plan. And what I love about this four of pentacles is actually a card of abundance here because someone is managing their resources wisely. They know when to spend and when not to spend because we've learned something, right? I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. And this was actually about this five of pentacles because I remember getting that card for that. Okay, let's see. Uh, ex ex okay, 
um, extremes in how you give or receive money, time, or emotions. This is part of the divine plan. See, you're becoming very powerful. You're realizing what you want to give your time and your energy to this or, uh, this, right? Smart business decisions, nice, yes. And seeing things as black or white, being charitable. And also someone is buying something for themselves because they've saved up enough money to do so. So it feels, you know, dry, desolate there in the desert, but we've got a, a, we've got a case full of things, assets, valuables, energy a lot of green going on here so there's something strong that's happening with you know feeling good and healed in your heart as well especially when it's been about disappointment in the things that you value right or what you value that money uh, time and energy can do for you right including health so take whatever resonates so there's a divine plan when it comes to um security and security with your resources, your possessions, and building upon that. Four of Pentacles, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What else for Taurus? <clears throat> Great adventure, take a risk by moving forward. Take action with passion. So don't hesitate to do something a little different here when it comes to changing something up with that two of pentacles. So get, maybe some of you have to figure out uh, where you might be having, doing something that's a rigid routine or where you can just, you know, do something new. Okay. While you wait, like play while you wait, right? Cause you're, you know, you're having to accept everything is happening in divine order. There could be something with relocation or travel or just maybe for some, it could just be wanting to experience different sceneries. And that's good too. You could be wanting to get out on a boat. Maybe there's something about boat trips, a speed boat, a yacht, cruise boat, uh, cars, horseback riding, racing. I don't know. And then we get to uncover the pentacles, the pentacle, the ace of pentacles. What I get with the uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty. Look at beneath the surface, right? It looks all sandy and dry and nothing going on. But once you get out there, what's beneath it is a treasure, security. You know, I'm getting a strong message too with this uh, card. Um, <clears throat> Cause there's like another card coming into my mind's eye right now with this. Mm, mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, this is like the dragon, um, hoarder card in another deck where the dragon is, you know, this guardian that is protecting your future possessions, right? Your future fortune. So it's already there for you to claim it. And here you are claiming it and now we get to spend it <laughs> and spend it wisely. Right. And maybe treat ourselves because sometimes when we get to be too, you know, frugal or too scarce, um, you know, remember it's not a, it's not about going into extremes right now. You're maintaining balance. Okay. And with whatever is going on though, you've got to do something at, for temporary. So if it means that, yes, you may need to, you know, not do this for a while or spend on this or give to that, then don't wait till you're ready. But I can tell you what you need to give into is things that energizes you. Okay. Be by water, near water, be outside. There's a lot of ac outdoor activities going on in a lot of these cards. Okay. The only indoor thing that I see is maybe something about gambling. Okay. Don't take a risk here with others though and this shopping. <laughs> what else? But even in this shopping, she's taking her time because she knows the value of a dollar. Embracing enthusiasm. You're shouting to the heavens with happiness because something is heavenly sent. And so is the money coming to you as well. Transformation has taken place here. 
I feel you're not alone when it comes to a transformation. Okay, you're going to be or will have encounters with others. See the other butterflies. <laughs> and what you're leaving behind is communicating and speaking with caterpillar people when you are and have transformed or currently transforming into a butterfly. Okay, now some of you, you know, you, you're just going to have to accept this Taurus, right? We all have to go through transformations constantly. So... Uh, there's nothing new about this, okay? So yes, we we don't speak uh, caterpillar language no more, <laughs> but you can if you want to. See, this is you shape shifting, but we need we're we're in a place where we're being guided to, um, you know, attract the things that we are um, harmoniously tr attracted with, right? Other butterflies. Other eagles. <laughs> what else? There you go. Ten of Pentacles. It's all this chariot. Oh man, did I say something about the chariot with you guys? No, I don't think so. Mm, well, we we're talking about driving though. We were talking about driving, but I felt like maybe it wasn't you, Taurus. Maybe it wasn't you. But that's okay. Because <clears throat> what I like is we got the Ten of Pentacles. We've got the complete opposite or the um, the relief that we need when it comes to the long-term security, the financial security, the stable home life, family life, whatever it is, but also have patience with this too, right, Taurus, because this takes time, consistency, it is earth energy, so it does, it's slower. You've got a lot of things going on. We were taught, you know, this thing I was getting with you is like having your assets and your possessions being protected. That special card with that dragon came through in my mind's eye for you about the dragon hoarder because the dragon is hoarding your goods. <laughs> okay. Hoarding the goods for you. It's funny I'm using the word hoarding. So maybe some of you guys watch out for hoarding. Okay. Or family members. Maybe there are some family members that you are aware of that do that. Okay. And because you are that, um, uh, that soul that's a breaker of those traditions and patterns that don't serve humanity any longer. It's easy for you to get frustrated and, and irritated by that. But you, you know, you got to have love and compassion for those people, those souls. Okay. They just know what they know, where they're at. Some of you guys might find yourself buying a new home, getting that property. You could be enjoying a, a new truck, a vehicle, travels. You could even be enjoying some type of status in life and achievement in life, public acclaim. Okay, take what resonates for you, but rewards that come from hard work. Successfully balancing many priorities at once. This is the chariot and this is where you're at. So there's, you're going from the two of pentacles of having to really manage things and balance things to mastering it because now we've mastered both of these uh, opposite horses to run together and we're going straight. So I'm seeing something really taken off that, that some of you, you could have some acceleration and speedy success here. Determination, willpower, public um, recognition. Okay, so this is about the chariot. Also, financial security for yourself, your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions. Some of you guys could be getting uh, things passed down to you. Cars, trucks, uh, home, property, something like that. Okay, pride in the family tree. I do see you guys having uh, pride in the family tree whether you're breaking a tradition and starting your a new one or continuing something that's important to you and the family, okay? Passing down knowledge, leaving a legacy, nice. There's something about you anyways, Taurus, that's leaving a legacy here. Uh, what else for Taurus? Oh, let's see, what, uh, what is it? Gratitude, nice. Every time I see this card, I see... Uh, third eye opening um, to the greater c cause, oh wait, greater good, oh God, I can't, the greater cause of good, but you know, oh my God, speaking of that third eye, there was something else I was picking up about you too. It's got to be this, it's got to be what I set your mind to, reclaiming your mind, because a lot of you, there's been something that's been you know, overwhelming you probably in the mind or you can feel it off others, right? So 
Um, know that you're getting into a place of um, being able to attain what you need to attain to give what you need to give, right? So you're going to be having opportunities in this lifetime that's going to present itself to be grateful for. So <clears throat> if you can get aligned with being grateful for what you're, where you're at right now, it's only going to accelerate the speediness of it. What else for Taurus? Yeah, some of you, Taurus, something about your like special abilities will um, be this advantage for you to really attain material success uh, and also, you know, knowledge. Oh, the other thing that I'm getting as a message, did I say this already? I think I did, but I feel like I need to say it again that I feel a lot of you are tapping into uh, the spiritual realm because the veil is very thin because there's something happening here with your third eye and your crown chakra. We do have the emperor. So this is a very good sign and indicator that yes, a lot of you are really or you will be up leveling in status, improved uh, security for yourself, improved uh, partnership uh, for some of you. There could be a father figure at play here. But anyhow, use logic and organization. This will increase your success. Take charge of a situation, right? Accept a leadership role. This is where I was, oh, see, I told you, I met, okay, I swear, I swear, Taurus, I swear I was saying emperor, the mixture of the emperor and the knight of swords. And here's the emperor. And look at the emperor even has a sword. That's not really common actually in a lot of tarot cards. Oh my God, I told you. Oh, I'm just loving this because I'm just seeing and feeling your energy. It's so powerful and strong. And I do feel a lot of you, you have someone that's powerful and strong as well. Okay, uh, energetically, spiritually, and physically or and or physically. Uh, you need to accept a leadership role, okay? Structure and discipline will give you guys the results. And discipline's coming out twice here, okay? Focus, right? That's that sword. It's about focus. <clears throat> and not being afraid of stepping into power. What else? And see, that's what others envy about you too, okay? And also I'm hearing you, if you've envied others for power or what they've had, guess what? That's where we have, you know, uh, the roles are changing for you. Ten of swords, three of swords. It's the end of difficult times, hard times, you too. Hmm. Scorpio kind of got this message as well. Um, I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to be taking a sip of my sparkling water with ice, so it's probably going to make some weird noise, you know, because I'm not drinking out of a bottle or something. But anyhow, the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. <clears throat> So some of you guys, don't be afraid if you have, a, you know, mixed emotions about things, okay? That's quite normal. Uh, but, you know, I again, this is a, the end. This is the end of difficult times because you've taken those swords out of your back, which, you know, that was a painful ending for some, or there was just an ending, or you pinned something down, and now you know exactly what to do, okay? It's the end of a situation, so we've... Uh, we can put those swords and leave them. The opportunity for new happiness, a weight off your shoulders. Oh, hallelujah. And the end of an addiction or, oh, excuse me, end of an addiction, um, a mellow dramatic reaction. So we might need to be careful about that or just maybe not having a reaction at all. And guess what that um, ending is all about? The hard times of a heartbreak or something that really, you know, was disappointing here, right? Great sadness that will heal with time, let go of the past. A lot of you guys, you're in this place of really healing that past. Remember, look, clear the past, heal the present. Personal growth that comes from challenges, healing misunderstandings. Ooh, that's good too. Uh, being there for those in need. So I do feel a lot of you are being, you know, guided to help others because you were able to overcome something within yourself here too, okay? There could be something with a nurse or, you know, being assistance and uh, caregiving of others here. <clears throat> I 
we are caregiving and giving to nature. So some of you seek, you know, time out in your garden or something with mother nature. Okay. Cause it could be very healing for you and you can just surrender to being timeless and not giving into time. That way you can have more patience. <laughs> Seeds that have been well planted, efforts or investments that will be rewarded. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Pentacles. This is no kidding rewards here. A time for resting and planning for the future because you don't need to give in to unnecessary worry. Your garden is growing. Even if some of you feel like you've had to start all over. It was like whatever happened was like the perfect combination for your soul to have these new seeds in, right? And now your soul is blooming and will continue to bloom and blossom these beautiful flowers. Because a lot of you have turned pain or misery and struggles into beauty, victory, happiness. I can see some of you... Taurus actually being um, like one of those that really breaks karmic, like like karmic traditions. Okay, whether it's like family bloodline, maybe even break in sadness and depression, uh, something like that. Okay, so just take that if it resonates. May not resonate for all of you. Anyhow, let's continue and see what else for you, Taurus. Worry. Wow. We're getting out of worry. We got, there was something already that we, that said unnecessary worry, right? Yeah. You just have unnecessary worry. So you need, may need to remind yourself that whenever your worry um, arises to trust that there is a divine plan, learning that worry doesn't change anything. It doesn't change an outcome because worry does nothing. Now, unless worry causes you to change, and get disciplined, then this is when worry becomes a useful uh, energy. Okay. So here you are being powerful and in control, not letting worry fears overtake you. What else? We got love. Nice. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. And here you are practicing to committing to seeing the good in all things, right? Even in the face of things that might be so ugly in others, okay? But we can see how we were protected from it or we didn't get drawn into something negative, okay? Or even if a negative situation has happened that we can continue to grow and learn, there may be a commitment and love for a lot of you Taurus, okay? So be open to that. What else for Taurus? Okay, these three. Acceptance, purpose, and judgment. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change because you know that you have a purpose. You know what you're here to do, right? And understanding. Yeah, you guys are hearing the call. You're hearing something powerful when it comes to your life path, your life purpose. So you may want to check out the uh, videos um, in the description box below. Anyhow, yeah, understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. This is what's helping you guys really move on and not give your attention, your time, and your energy into those things uh, that only hold you back. And yes, a lot of you, you're really uh, passing and hearing some type of universal test here and hearing your calling. What else for Taurus? justice wow wow be impartial and objective right now taurus okay stand up for what you believe remember i was getting you being in the position of emperor and the knight of swords so the knight of swords is one of integrity and injustice too so uh let's see what else does this say uh try to see all sides of a situation this can't you guys can't make this up this came out just after this whole thing about learning to accept the things that you cannot change, understanding that everyone has their own unique challenges, their own unique path and challenges, right? That they have to overcome. And maybe some are just not as 
skilled or as quick as you. <laughs> Take that if it resonates. You will win if your position is one of integrity. And also this justice is indicating a new soul contract or some type of contract on the horizon, whether it's energetic or phys physical here, okay? Because there's something, you know, I was picking up something about karma here, right? So we're changing the course of direction in a positive way, okay? Even if on the surface it may not seem like it, but something will be handled in a fair and just manner. This is why, um, you know, something that could be pulling some of you, you're being guided to just, you know, uh, be in integrity right now. Because if you are in one of integrity, you will win. Your angels, God, heaven knows what's been going on and serving what needs to be served to those who need it. Oops. Okay, let's see. What else for Taurus? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out, Taurus, what you have to look forward to in the near future. What, is, what does Taurus have to look forward to in the near future? Letting go of grief. Wow, there's another card that wants to come out with this grief. Okay. This is that five of swords or that three of swords. Understanding that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Losing something is an opportunity or is losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So it looks like you're having another opportunity. There's going to be another card that wants to come out with this grief for what you have to look forward to in the near future. Just saying goodbye to that. Let's get more with this grief card for Taurus. Oh, go slow and take your time, okay? Some of you may just need to take your time to honor your emotions or figure out a way to channel it um, in a positive way, okay? Something is gonna work out in your favor. You just need to trust this, even if it feels like something did not go in your favor or felt, um, you know, a sense of injustice. Because I know there was some pain and betrayal here, okay? But it's going in your favor, so go slow, take your time, right? Everything is happening in divine order. Oh my God, order in the court. <laughs> That's what I want to say, order in the court, order in the heavenly court, right? Oh my goodness. Oh, see? Woo That's powerful. All right, let's see how spirit is helping you currently. Okay, this one wants to come out. Is there going to be anything else? No, it's that one. Okay. Walking in beauty because you transformed, you know, the colors of you that's radiant and blossoming, being able to see the beauty in all things. Look at that. Walking in beauty. This is, okay, noticing beautiful butterflies, noticing the beauty that surrounds you, wearing flowers. I mean, we're outdoors. We're noticing the beauties, right? Man-made or non-man-made. Um, there's another one, right? Beauty in the, that treasure, beauty in these flowers. <laughs> you know, beauty in the ocean. Your world is about to get bigger and bigger, Taurus. I can just see it, okay? <clears throat> this is how spirit is helping you. Love and light.